Good evening, guys. Welcome back to another Steve Reville Food Review. Today, I stopped by Checkers because as I was riding by, I saw on their sign an advertisement for this bacon pot roast melt. I haven't seen this advertised anywhere, so I thought, why not stop in? Let's check it out. All right, guys, here it is, the bacon pot roast melt from checkers i had to ask the lady at, at the register exactly what all was in this she really didn't fully know like like the details of it but she said it had onion tanglers which uh yeah they're in there onion tanglers bacon this uh this pot roast it's actually it actually looks like legit pot roast i mean that uh I wasn't expecting it to look like that. Bacon. She said it had some kind of uh, aioli, mayonnaise aioli, which I guess is probably like a like a pepper, uh, like a pepper aioli or uh, like a pepper mayonnaise. Uh, it has that beef patty, the regular beef patty, and she said it had a queso cheese. So uh, that's the makeup of it. I. I thought the bun or the bread this sourdough bread is actually supposed to be like really toasted you can see where it's kind of toasted but uh not really so much but anyway let's uh let's get into this and check it out all right so the very first thing that i noticed is that the bread really does need to be toasted on this one it it, it just it's missing that detail but you can see the cross section there, beef patty, roast beef. I want to get a taste of the roast beef just by itself. The flavor of the sandwich is actually, or the burger. I know some people get mad when you when you when you call a burger a sandwich. I mean, it's it's a sandwich. It's all this stuff sandwiched between bread. I check this roast beef out. Hmm. That's actually pretty good roast beef. I mean, it's not like like restaurant style. Go in, have a roast beef, you know, type dinner roast beef. But that's that's pretty good roast beef for a for a burger. The bacon could be a little bit more crispy. That would add a little more to the texture. I think that's really kind of what this is missing is a little texture. The soft beef patty, the soft roast beef. The onion tanglers uh, always kind of get to the moist point from being in the sandwich, being in the burger. And then not having the toasted bread. So I think that's really what's missing here is texture. The flavor is good. The flavor is there. That queso cheese is really good. That roast beef, again, that roast beef is actually very flavorful. Um, it's actually not roast beef. This is a pot roast melt. And that's what, that's the actual flavor. Yes, pot roast is what this tastes like. Minus the peas and the carrots and the potatoes. Good sandwich. Let me get another bite. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the bacon melt, or the, the bacon pot roast melt, is $3.99. You can see the receipt over here. $3.99 for the bacon pot roast melt. You can get just the regular pot roast melt without the bacon for $2.99. I'd have to say, that's, I mean, one thing Checkers does really well is their pricing. They don't seem to overprice things, and I like that. I like they don't like that they don't try to, like, price it way more than what it should be. Any other restaurant, any other burger place coming out with this, they want to charge, like, $5.99 or, you know, five sixty or something like that. Four bucks, good sandwich, beef patty, bacon, that pot roast once again. Look at this. That, that, that just kind of really gets me with how tender. Look at the, the tenderness of this pot roast. Look at there. I mean, that's like legit, legit pot roast. Let me get one more bite, and then we'll give this thing a rating. 
All right, guys, I really, really like this sandwich. I love the flavors on this sandwich. The only thing that's missing is the texture. That's it. Texture, that's the only thing that's missing out of this sandwich. Price is good. If the bacon was crispy, if the bread was toasted, uh, if the onion tanglers were not soggy, this meant I would I would be highly recommending this sandwich. The price is perfect. It's like set right where it should be. The, again, the flavor is there. But because of the texture wise, because the fact that they didn't toast the bread like they should have and and the the bacon isn't crispy, there's there's no uh, texture inside this sandwich. It, it, it comes off almost mushy because everything's soft. Uh, that's that's the because of that, that would be the only reason why I would kind of downplay this sandwich. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this pot roast melt, bacon pot roast melt from Checkers, a solid seven. I almost want to move it into the eight, but it, it's just not gonna get there. Solid seven. I would recommend it. If you get it, just tell them, make sure you toast the bread and that'll make a huge, huge difference in that sandwich for you. Well, that's my view of the bacon pot roast melt from Checkers. And with that, I say good day.